Kano Kusarina, uh, her speech titled The Moral of the Story, uh, was titled uh, LOL Stories. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. Hello. Uh, so today, actually, I'm going to share with you three really funny and entertaining stories. But despite of that, they are really wide ones. They have the uh, moral and lessons that you will take. <clears throat> and I promise you, when you leave this room, you will be enlightened, <laughs> a little bit wiser, and also enrich yourself. So the first story. <clears throat> a man enters a shower um, while when uh, his wife just was just finishing up when the doorbell rang. She quickly uh, wrapped herself in a towel and went downstairs. She opened the door and there was a neighbor, Bob, who lived ne next door. Just before she opened her mouth, he said, If you drop this towel, I will give you $800. <laughs> she hesitated for some period of time and dropped her towel. <laughs> he, he handed $800 to her and left. She went upstairs and her husband asked, who was this guy? She said, oh, that was Bob next door. Great. Did he mention about 800 dollars that he owed me? <laughs> <laughs> so, the moral of the story. If you have a critical information to share with your householders, it's better to do it in time in order to avoid such exposures. <laughs> and next story. A manager sales representative and administrative clerk were going together to the lunch. As they were walking down, they, saw, they found an oil, an ancient antique lamp. lamp. They uh, rubbed in and Jim came out from the lamp and he said, every one of you has got one wish. Me first, me first, said the uh, business uh, no, no, the administrative clerk said, I want to go to Bahamas, uh, lying on the beach, doing nothing, driving a speed uh, boat, and uh, having no care of in this world. Poof! And he is gone. Next one was a sales representative. He said, Me next. Okay, what's your wish? I want to go to Hawaii with the love of my life having endless supply of pina colada and doing nothing, not working. Poof! And he was gone. Another one was the manager. He stayed. And what is your wish? said Jim. He said, I want those two back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the lesson of this story, the lesson of the, the moral of the story, always let your, your boss uh, talk first. <laughs> and the uh, last story. Uh, <clears throat> a little bird was flying to the south for winter. As he was flying, it was very cool, and he fell down to the ground. Uh, but the cow was passing by, and he dropped some dung on it. As he was, and. As he was lying on the pile of cow dung, he felt really warm. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he, he actually began to sew, sew, to sew out. And then he became so happy that he was actually very warm that he started to sing out of his joy. But uh, at this moment, the cat was passing by and he heard a bird singing. He uh, came to investigate this dung and uh, he dug out the bird and promptly ate it. <laughs> <laughs> there are three lessons that you can actually take from this story. The first one, I, I just want to uh, tell you that we, they will be uh, abnormal lexic, like vocabulary. So, not anyone, not everyone who shits on you <laughs> is your friend, um, is your enemy. Not everyone who gets you out of shit is your friend. <laughs> and when you are in deep 